Got another nice representative from Caterpillar, Scott Cooper. How you doing? Good afternoon. Been a while. Doing well, absolutely. Boy, we've talked over the years about various projects that CAT has, and we're going to be talking about telehandlers, and apparently you've got a whole new lineup of equipment over there. We do. We have the new C-Series models that okay. we're launching, and uh, we have our new Tier 4 engines, yep. along with the new CAT transmission that we put in the machines. That's uh, very important, isn't it? Everybody's Absolutely. got to meet the mandates now, and and uh, you have to stay abreast of the times. Yeah, absolutely. What are some of the features of these new telehandlers? Well, we have two distinct model lineups now. We have a TL series, which are a North American-based machine. Um, we have a TH series, which is a European-based machine. Okay. And the TLs are uh, primarily lift-and-place models, where our European machines are more of a load-and-carry and transport models. So we have a lot to offer our customers. And part of the Tier 4 and part of the C-series is aligning all of the color schemes, getting the transmissions and all to align, and it'll be very beneficial for the customer. Well, it's for a company the size of yours, you almost have to make a dual product line, don't you? Absolutely, absolutely. One for the European and, and Asian and what have you, and the other for uh, domestic North America. We do, and with all the new applications right. that we're getting into in North America, it just was a natural transgression to get those machines over here, windmill sites, uh, mining applications, yeah. pipeline and gas, what are, the, what are some of the new highlights, features of, of, of these telehandlers? Well, on the TLs, we have a uh, new transmission disconnect on the TL9s, really? which is something we haven't offered. On um, the TH models, we have an electronic uh, angle indicator in the cab, okay. along with a lot of other new uh, technical things that we can do in the cab as far as doing all of our service and troubleshooting right from the cab panel without oh, using a laptop. Really? Absolutely. And you don't have to get back in and open things up? Absolutely. That's really a neat uh, innovation. Right. Now, I presume they've got a lot of intelligence built into the machines as well. Can you we talk do. about some of that? Well, certainly, especially in the TH models that we use over in Europe, mm -hmm. uh, all the diagnostics is right on the screen. So basically, okay. the operator has screens that he can scroll through to uh, check different things, whether it be his RPMs or service. Right. Um, then there are certain things that the service department at Caterpillar can go in when they want to diagnose a problem that's going on with the machine. Uh, one of the things that we've changed in the European machines as well is we've gone away from the power synchro transmission. Okay. And now we have a true power shift, which gets away from the common sump system that we were using. Oh, okay. And that's uh, hydraulic as well? Absolutely. Total hydraulic. Yeah. Okay. And we're talking about any changes in power as far as uh, more or less ho horsepower? Um, on the North American machines, we've gone up to 142 horsepower on the largest okay. machines, which is considerably higher than what we had. Um, and then we'll be going up until, I guess, mid part of next year with an 84 horsepower in our compact machine, but dropping that down somewhere in the 60s. Really? So we'll have a good range of horsepower for all say, of our models. Yeah, it'll be from one end of the spectrum to the other. Absolutely. All right. Well, that's good. I'm glad for you yep. to stop by. It's good to Thank see you. Thank you. It's again. always great to see you. I haven't seen you for a while. And Absolutely. Good luck with CAD and uh, the Telehander products. And uh, I'm sure you guys have constant changes in the works. Absolutely. Great. Thank you. And uh, we'll be right back here at World of Concrete 2012, so don't go away.